So Rev on D. Yo, can I just say something? Can I just say something? 32 years old, can I just say something? Can I just keep it real on the track? Is that cool? Can I just keep it real on the track? Is that is that all right? Um, I was thinking today about what it is that makes interventional radiology so valuable. And uh, I was actually, I was doing a nephrostomy. It was after the nephrostomy, I realized kind of what the value we have as an interventional radiologist is, you know, to some degree. And that is, you know, like in a nephrostomy, you know, with understanding the imaging, right, understanding a ultrasound image and being able to produce it real time with a curved transducer, um, in interventional radiology, with the skills we have, I can be precise on the level of millimeters at a depth in the body of like, say, 10 centimeters. At 10 centimeters of depth, I can be accurate down to the level of a couple millimeters, you know. You know, and not just me, anybody, anybody with interventional radiology training, because these skills just really get better and better over time, and the training, the teaching is generally very good in interventional radiology. I mean, you know, for a nephrostomy, especially if you're dealing with non-dilated systems, you're trying to hit a kidney calyx, which is kind of a small thing. You know, even if it's dilated, it's still not that big. And you're trying to hit that with a 21 gauge needle, which is, you know, a tiny little dot, less than a millimeter uh, size needle. You're trying to hit that at whatever, whatever depth it is. It doesn't matter if the patient's big or small. You're trying to hit that calyx. And with the skills that we have in IR, you can actually do it. You can actually do it remarkably well. So again, at a depth of 10 centimeters, that can be accurate to millimeters. And it's not just for nephrostomies. Um, let's say there's a, a small tumor in the liver, a small HCC. Well, again, we, as long as we can image it, as long as we can figure out a plane to image that tumor with the ultrasound, we can drive a needle up to it, and then we can take a biopsy. And let's say we're not just trying to do diagnostic, we're trying to do therapeutic. We can do the same thing. If we have a small lesion in the liver or the kidney or really anywhere in the body, <clears throat> as long as we can image it, and uh, ultrasound is a nice tool because it's real time, uh, if we can image it nicely, we can drive a needle or a probe up to it and we can ablate it and burn it, take it out of the, take it out of the body and uh, do it safely. And, and then to even go a step further um, with the skills we have as interventional radiologists, we can then image that tumor after treatment and understand exactly, um, we can understand what the post-treatment imaging should show us because we understand imaging. We understand diagnostic imaging, CT, MRI, and ultrasound. So even the radiologic follow-up of tumors is something we can understand. So an IR skill set really is an incredible thing. Um, it gives you uh, a very powerful set of skills, a set of skills that allows you to be, you know, deadly accurate at 10 centimeters depth, level of millimeters, um, allows you to treat tumors that are small, you know, effectively and accurately, you know, understanding ablation modalities. And then when you're following patients up, you have a very good understanding of what you're seeing as a physician, as a radiologist, because you can actually interpret those images and know what they're showing you. Or is this showing me a post-ablative effect? Is this showing me a post-radiation effect? Or is this showing me uh, a post-treatment effect that, uh, that I like? And then you can also make recommendations on how to extend the follow-up. So a really, really powerful set of tools. Um, the fun thing with uh, private practice or just practice after training is that you just get exposed to so many patients that your skills just develop and get better and better. Um, I still remember as a resident, uh, you know, lining up the ultrasound probe and the needle was a big problem for me. Um, I'm sure it's a problem for a lot of other people. That problem goes away. Um, with just repeated, repeated exposures, uh, you get better at it and then you, you start to rely on yourself. You start to know, hey, well, if I can image it, I can, Hit it with a needle, I can hit it with a probe. 
um, you start to plan things out. You get a request for a procedure, you look at it, maybe you don't know all the details because healthcare is fragmented and you can't get access to everything, but you, you read enough about it, you see enough about the lesion, you figure, okay, the skills I have with uh, ultrasound guided procedures, I know I can do this. So. Um, and then, and then it, actually your day becomes kind of fun because you don't know exactly what you're in for, but you know you can probably accomplish it. And then when you're successful, it feels good. So, yeah. So I wanted to share this little snapshot into the uh, life of an interventionalist. Um, you know, having fun, practicing these highly specialized skills, getting better at them, and, um, you know, feeling very accurate, feeling very accurate. So what I'm going to do.